Hello YouTube, here today on a new video. So I got some major updates on my 15 gallon tank, starting with a new light. I'm not sure if you guys can tell how it looks on camera, but I, you could see it right there, it looks crazy. But yeah, the light's going pretty crazy, but this is the Kessel A80 light. You can see the, the shimmering in the water. It's very nice. And I got some new coral. I got that guy. And I got some zoas. They're looking great. Already nice and opened up. And I changed the aquascape a bit because one of the rocks <laughs> fell down. So I had to change it all up yeah, while I was putting in those new corals. And I have an Aquatic Life 115 Nano, nano Skimmer. I installed this yesterday. So I'll have to do another video on that, updating that. And look at this, Kessel 80 15 gallon it's looking great these are with the sunglasses on but yeah so the tank is doing great the fish are doing great and that's the 15 gallon tank the 15 the, the 8 gallon over there is doing great as well the two fish but yeah I got some corals coming for this tomorrow some hammer corals that I got on the live sale from LAX Aquarium that just happened right now so I should be picking those up tomorrow. But yeah, my coral reef tank is doing awesome. I love all these corals. This one's nice, nice and big. So it should be awesome. Everybody's doing well in here. Let's show you guys the other tank. Take this off. Oh, I got a drink right there too. Here's the eight gallon nano tank with the two clowns in there. They're doing great. They're hanging out, swimming around. I don't know if I want to put any corals in here and run the light because then that's going to be a whole another cycle. So probably not. I think I'm going to just do a fish only with live rock tank. So yeah, look at them. They're like in jail in there. They're swimming back and forth. They're like, give me back in my that 15 gallon. Oh, I've never been in that 15 gallon, but yeah, they live in here. It's a pretty big tank, though. So, they should be doing well in there. Like I said, this one's an 8 gallon, the other one's a 15 gallon. This is a nano tank. 5 gallons is just way too small. You, I think you, the smallest you want to do is 7, 8, 10. I would recommend the cubes are way nicer than those you know, long, old style ones. But yeah, this, this tank is doing great. These fish, I did get these fish from a, from a shop that doesn't really have the best reviews. And I'm kind of upset that I got them from that shop because I went to a shop today where I got the corals at and that shop had way nicer clownfish with you know some reasonable pricing. And they just got all the clownfish in stock yesterday. So they had tons to pick from today. So I'm kind of sad that I got these guys with you know they're kind of they're a little crazy like i said they they're they haven't even wanted to eat today's the second day with them and they haven't even ate they don't want to eat so it's i'm kind of stranged out by that so yeah these and like right now they're going wild going back and forth and stuff but i don't know if maybe they're sleeping i woke them up or something but yeah so i'm not really too sure like i know for a fact you know there's four clowns in here and these guys are doing great you know, all of them together, they're doing awesome. You could tell, you know, they're all spread out. They're all enjoying their own each space. They hang out with each other and stuff. You know, nothing looks out of the ordinary with these guys. But with this tank over here, it kind of does. You know, these guys are, look at these guys. They're going insane right now. So yeah, if anyone wants to adopt these two crazy guys, y'all could have them. Or you can adopt them myself to y'all. And I'll get me another pair that I wanted from the shop today. But yeah, these are Da Vinci grade B clowns actually. If anybody's interested. They're already paired together nicely. Except for they just go wild. They're always like on a, on each other though. That's what's funny. Like they're boyfriend, girlfriend. The other ones I have over here, they're like, like they're not really ever on each other, on each other. They'll be, you know, like there's two so many together right there, two right there. Wow, so this, this new light really, puts a shimmer on the 
you know, on the tank, but it doesn't actually look like that. You know, the tank, I don't know, it's just the, the lighting is just really strong on the camera. But, yeah. Hope you guys like this little update video. So I added that scammer, I have a skimmer, <laughs> I said scammer. I added that nano skimmer, Aquatic Life 115 skimmer, and I added this Kessel A80. I actually got this thing on a, I got it on Marketplace for pretty cheap. So like half off of what they cost new. So that's a good thing. These always are looking nice. You just can't really tell, but yeah, everybody's doing great in this tank. I love, I love this tank, how it's coming out. You know, I love how the fish are getting along. Love how the rock is escaped up, aquascaped. You know, this tank, eh, not too fond of it. I love the tank. I just kind of looks a little bare bones in there with just that rock. So I don't know if I want to add some coral or what I want to add to it, but maybe soon. And these these fishes don't really look like they're they're enjoying their time that much. They're just kind of swimming on the top, just. Yeah. So. Maybe they don't like the tank, but they get used to it a couple of days, I guess. At least they're not fighting with each other. I have been putting bacteria and coralline algae in this one. So the tank should be fine. I test the waters, everything's good. So they should be healthy. But they're just they're nuts and like it's weird too because my other fish i feed them they you know they're chasing for the food these ones i tried feeding this morning they the food is literally just sitting right there on the floor on the seabed so sand bed anyways like comment subscribe and be ready for the next video bye bye everybody